Camilla in Red Faced. Tom Bauer unmasked Minx Megan branded as a self-seeking troublemaker. Meghan Markle was branded that Minx by Camilla, who also thought she was ungrateful, a royal expert claims. Tom Bauer, a royal biographer, has claimed that the two duchesses have never seen eye to eye, with future Queen Camilla reportedly suspicious of Meghan's intentions. Camilla, 74, remained is believed to have been tight-lipped with her opinions of Meghan, 40, after she was brought into the royal family by her stepson. Mr. Bauer believes that Harry and Meghan's silence was deliberate and an insult to the royal family after the Queen announced her wish for Camilla to become Queen Consort. He said, It is believed that she, Meghan, has never liked Camilla, and I am sure the feelings are reciprocated. From the outset, Camilla was suspicious about the adventurous from Los Angeles. But, as in all her conduct, Camilla remained tight lipped. While watching Charles painfully believe that Harry was intent on publicly humiliating him, Camilla undoubtedly provided the comfort and good advice to reassure her husband that he had done the best he could. She could comfort him that while his authority is challenged by the Sussexes, he would emerge victorious. During those inevitably endless, tortured and inconclusive conversations, Camilla is the sort who would refer to Meghan as that minx, the self-seeking troublemaker whose antics will always end in tears. Meghan Markle couldn't care less what Brits think of her, because she considers the UK a lost cause, a royal expert has claimed. The Duchess of Sussex has absolutely no intention of returning to the UK and she no longer feels welcome here, Tom Bauer wrote. The writer, dubbed Britain's most feared biographer is currently working on a tell-all term about the Duchess and says her rejection of Britain is down to her steadily plunging popularity here. At the moment, Meghan's ultimate destination is unclear, but she certainly has the backing to make a bid to star as an American politician, Barr said. In parallel, Britain is a lost cause for the Sussexes. In truth, I suspect Meghan no longer cares whether she is welcome in London. She has no intention of returning. The Queen used her Platinum Jubilee message to the nation to back the Duchess of Cornwall as Queen Camilla, shaping the future of the monarchy on her historic milestone. In the hugely significant intervention, she expressed her sincere wish that Camilla will be known as Queen Consort when the Prince of Wales becomes King. But royal correspondent Tom Sykes has claimed Camilla did not mind whether she was Queen or not. Speaking, Mr. Sykes said, I think it was incredibly generous of the Queen actually. Charles has always wanted Camilla to be Queen. She, I'm reliably informed, couldn't give two hoots whether or not she's Queen or not. But Charles sort of saw it as an insult against the office of the Crown. Since receiving the title, the Duchess of Cornwall has said she is very honoured and very touched to have been endorsed by the Queen. Camilla was visiting Nourish Hub a community kitchen based in Notting Hill, West London, to mark its opening and as patron of the charity which runs it, UK Harvest, when she was asked by a guest how she felt about the title. Her comments came on the same day the Prince of Wales tested positive for coronavirus, but Clarence House has confirmed the Duchess returned a negative result on Thursday morning. UK Harvest is a non-profit organisation which collects surplus food from supermarkets and delivers it directly to charities, as well as serving at pop-up hubs and at the kitchen. Camilla, 74, spoke with volunteers and refugees from West London Welcome Charity, who were cooking a rice-based Iranian dish called Lubia Polo for visitors. A guest who gave his name as DJ, 49, asked the Duchess how she felt about her new title. Camilla told him, I feel very honoured, very honoured and very touched.